And down again. These 11-year-olds are having a high-tech history lesson about one of the country's greatest social campaigners who was born in their town. They're retelling the life of the journalist and politician William Cobbett, their school's yes. named after him. This spiky character, also the school's logo, may look innocent, but it has a piercing touch. The writer used the pseudonym Peter Porcupine to criticise those in power, comparing the creature's sharp quills to his quilled pen. I've learned a bit about his life and what he used to do, that he used to be a bit mean to the like prime ministers and stuff like that. It's been really fun, because I, I think the favourite part is actually making the animations. William Cobbett cared passionately about traditional farming and rural life and loved the English countryside. He wasn't afraid of controversy. He spoke up for agricultural workers and encouraged parliamentary reform. He was also very outspoken about corruption in high places. William Cobbett was born here inside this pub, now named after him, in 1763. And when he died in 1835, more than 8,000 people came to Farnham for his funeral. He's still known today as a pioneer of journalism, a radical thinker, a champion of the poor, and as Farnham's most famous son. On Saturday, Farnham will come together to celebrate his birth, the focal point being an exhibition at the town's museum. While he lived in a different age, experts believe what was going on behind the scenes of power then were not all too dissimilar to now. A lot of the things he said then, that the national debt was a foolish thing, to build something on nothing was the work of fools, I think he would be equally horrified today to see the state of the economy. Perhaps one of his most famous works is the book Rural Rides. It's still in print today. It details his travels across the South's countryside and the impact of the increasing industry on agriculture and its effect on the rural poor. In my view, uh, the first great journalist producing the first piece of investigative journalism, going around the country, getting his evidence, going up to London and telling the Parliament of the day what they had to do to change things. The national debt had gone up hugely and, as he said, who's paying for it? It's certainly not the rich, it's the poor people of England. As people from all over the world continue to travel to Farnham to discover more about its most famous son, events will continue throughout the year. Chris Robinson, BBC South Today, in Farnham.